Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how the artist McGee gets his unique guitar tone. I'm sorry if this video is coming out late, but I was really trying to get the tone as good as I wanted it. I made a video on how to make songs like Dijon a while ago, and I wasn't 100% happy with the tone I got in that video, so that's why this kind of took a little bit longer to come out. So, I'm going to show you how to get the McGee tone with both free plugins and with paid plugins. So, first I'm going to show you how I did it with paid plugins. Here's how the paid version sounds. Just editing the video now and I realized I forgot to say something very important to McGee's sound and his style. Uh, he uses baritone guitars. Uh, often he tunes them even half a step down from that. Uh, and then he uses like a drop tuning, like uh, drop A flat, I guess it would be. Uh, but in this demo track, it's in drop C sharp because unfortunately I do not have access to any kind of baritone guitar. Anyways, let's get on with the signal chain. All right, so the methodology behind creating this tone is gonna to be pretty much the same, just using different plugins for both the free and paid version. But basically, uh, how McGee gets that really interesting dynamic sound is by using a Tascam Porter Studio, which is an old multi-track tape recorder and he intentionally clips the preamps on those because, you know, they're quite old and they were made for like home recording at the time. So they're not the highest quality preamps, right? So they have less headroom. So they distort really early on. But what you get from that is your clean parts stay completely clean. And as soon as you dig in, it just gives it all that crunch. Uh, so for this, I'm using this plugin that's just in Ableton. It's called Utility. Uh, let's you do stuff like single out the left and right side of audio, a bunch of other stuff, but I'm using it just for the gain knob. Uh, and I'm boosting the input signal. Alternatively, you could do this on your interface, but I prefer to just have the proper dry signal. So later on if I want to change something I can because if you record it straight with the preamp on your interface up then that audio file is just going to be loud and there's nothing you can do to change it after the fact so having the volume increase after recording is preferable here so I have that going into this plugin uh, by IK Multimedia and it actually emulates the Tascam Porter Studio sound. So here I have the bias a bit up, I have the levels all the way up. It's giving it that tape distortion sound. Unfortunately, to my knowledge, this is like one of the only plugins that is an actual like proper Tascam preamp sound. But yep, just using it to get the clipping and some of the tape sound. Then I have a little bit of compression after that, just to keep the levels nice. Then I'm using Ableton Chorus Ensemble and Arturia Delay Tape with the Ping Pong Delays sound. Now, let's move on to the free version. <laughs> So here again, I'm using utility to boost the input signal. Then I'm using Brit Pre uh, for the preamp and I've got the gain up, the output a bit up. Then I've just got a little bit of EQ, boost the low end and the mids. Uh, I've got a limiter so that it doesn't clip whatsoever. Then got a comp, then Got this compressor for the same purpose and chorus and delay like before. And yeah, so 
once you really understand the process of how McGee achieves his turn with the preamp distortion, then the rest is really easy and it's actually quite simple to achieve. So I hope you guys learned something in this video and hope you create some awesome songs with this turn. And yeah, peace.